I really want to make our planet a better place, not just for people, but for, for animals that, that really don't have a voice. I feel like I've got to be a voice for this ostrich. Because if I don't say anything, this particular North African desert ostrich will go extinct. We're moving containers that we're going to convert into a hatchery and the other one into an incubator. And we think three to four months and we should be ready to ship these containers to Niger. And that's where these 12 breeding pair of ostriches are. It's our duty, it's our responsibility as human beings, as guardians of this planet to save and to look after all living things. And the ostrich is no different from the elephant or the tiger or the panda or the lion. The reason that the ostriches are going extinct are basically some of the same issues that you see with other species on the planet. Habitat depletion, human population intrusion. There are virtually no North African ostriches in, in captivity and so could well be probably the most endangered bird on Earth. If you take one species out, you're losing something that you're never going to get back. And we don't know what effect that's going to have on a particular environment. And the local people came to us and said, look, we have a few of the last remaining ostriches, but we don't know how to move forward. We don't know how to support them. And the fact that they came to us really is the key to success. There's a certain mortality rate in the wild. If you can get 95% of those eggs to hatch, and compare and contrast that to maybe 5% in the wild, and then the ostrich will lay another clutch of eggs. Well, just do the math. So you can start even with eight breeding pair, and six months later, all of a sudden you've got 20 times that. If you think about these portable laboratories, we've got air conditioning. We're gonna have a, a VSAT so that we'll be able to communicate directly with these containers and this camp in Niger. It's all kind of state-of-the-art stuff. Some of it hasn't been done before. The country of Niger, where we're working on the ostrich, is landlocked country. The containers will travel by road two and a half thousand miles, so they're going to take a long, long uh, voyage. It's a kind of a tough environment. They can get up to 130 degrees during the day. There are sandstorms. It's politically difficult, and it can be a little bit dangerous, but that's not going to stop me from doing this. I think we're creating a model which others can emulate. Just like all things, it starts as a small seed, but uh, you know, hopefully it's going to grow into a big, big tree. Extinction is forever, as they say, and we've got to do everything in our power to prevent species becoming extinct.